Hello everyone and welcome to Undertale. I am Galactic Odyssey and I am blissfully adrift in a sea of ignorance because this is going to be a blind playthrough. I have to say, I think I'm probably the literal last person on Earth to not play this game. <laughs> Nearly 10 years old now, but I know uh, a lot of people consider this one of their top favorite games. And I couldn't be more excited to share this journey with you. There are two things that I know about this going in. One, the soundtrack is considered one of the top tier uh, iterations of musical storytelling in video gaming history. And I'm excited to hear that as we progress along the way. And two, the second thing that I know, and I find this extremely audacious, is the claim that nobody has to die. How is this possible? I don't know, but let's find out together. Or, as I expect, you probably already know if you're watching this, and we'll see how long it takes me to figure it out. <laughs> oh man, what am I getting into? Cannot wait, let's get started. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races, after a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet, 20... question mark? Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. So what are we going to name ourselves? Well, usually my characters go with the moniker of Odysseus, since we've got a uh, journey that is quite uncertain and possibly arduous before us. But since we've got a little bit of a character limit here, why don't we go with one of Odysseus's other monikers that he used during the Notorious Odyssey. Why don't we go with... Mr. Nobody. That's what you can call me. And here we are. Uh, landed, luckily, I suppose, in a, in a bed of flowers. And off we go. We'll take a look at us. Uh, not much to look at. A little bit of a, little bit, bit of a half pint here, but... What we lack in size, we make up for in heart and pure puzzle-solving prowess. Um, now, I'm sure that in a game like this, there's going to be a lot of the experience that's kind of predicated around exploration and finding secrets and taking the unconventional path. And I'll for sure try to do as much of that as possible, you know, sort of looking around for hidden entrances and such. Not necessarily just taking the most straightforward path whenever possible, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Alright, our first uh, inhabitant here. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Well, that's mighty neighborly of you, Flowey. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of, I suppose, levels, right, LV? What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. Oh, okay. Well, that I guess that says more about me, that I assumed that it was <laughs> something as um, impersonal as level. But love makes sense. Yeah. You want some love, don't you? 
you offering, Flowey? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. That sounds highly illegal, but okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. All right. Oh. You idiot. Wow. What is that face? In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh boy. Die. Alright, evil flowers. Not loving this. Oh. Oh, nice. Savior. Oh, and who do we have here? Is that a... Is that a goat? I'm so confused right now. <laughs> What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. Catacombs, you say? Sounds ominous. This way. Okay. I mean, she she seems nice enough, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out what that symbol is on her shirt, because that's also above some of the archways we've been passing through. It's kind of like some wings with like a little seed or something in the middle, and then it almost looked like a flower at the bottom, which I wonder is uh, related to Flowey, but anyway. What do we got going on? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Uh, okay, and I guess we get the chance to save. Cool. And it looks like we can save... This is like a repeatable save point, so it's not just a one-time save, which is nice. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Oh yeah, we got puzzles. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. Okay, I can do that. What happens if I step on these? Anything? Oh, she left. <laughs> uh, I want to read this if possible. Yeah. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk not on the middle road. Oh, I see. There's a little bit of a, uh, a metaphor there. Yeah. If you walked on the middle road, that would not unlock the hatch, or the, the latch, rather. You'd have to walk around the peripherals. Makes sense. We're going to have to get very used to, like, poetic language. I'm sensing. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Oh. Okay, I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out, but... Press Z to read signs, okay? Tracking that, very good. What do we got back here? Stay on the path. Um, okay. <laughs> Making it very obvious. Thank you very much. Please press this switch. Toriel. Toriel. What do I look like? A, a dumb kid? I mean, I guess I do. Please press this switch too. Toriel. Well, sure. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Man, she is so supportive. <laughs> Let us move to the next room. I hope everything else is this simple, right? Right surely can't get worse. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. Wait, you didn't say anything about monsters. Well, I guess there was a monster flower, so that makes sense. You will need to be prepared for the situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. I see, so she's kind of the arbiter of this uh, underground area. Practice talking to the dummy. 
Hello, dummy. I'm a child. You encountered the dummy. So we've got fight, act, item, mercy. Um, well, I get- she wants us to talk, right? Which I would suppose be defined as an act, inherently. Um, dummy... Oh, okay, that's what we're select- oh, I see, the heart is what we're selecting right now. Um, check or talk. I suppose we should inspect it first. Attack zero, defense zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Oh, that's very sweet. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Well, don't do it on me, please. Um, I suppose I'll talk to it. You talk to the dummy. And? It doesn't seem much for a conversation. Surprise, surprise. But Toriel seems happy with you. Oh, that's good. I wouldn't want to let her down. Oh, we won. And we earned nothing. But uh, I suppose the approval of our, of our mentor is worth more than uh, XP or gold, right? In the end. That seems like a good life lesson. Very good. You are very good. There was another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I wonder too. Now, are these are these secrets here? No, it's just ivy on a wall. I was wondering if maybe it was covering something up. She is very protective here. Uh-oh, what do we got? Froggit attacks you. Huh. Well, she just told us to talk it out, right? And if we're following the central conceit of the game, which is to avoid fighting whenever possible, then I suppose we should just try to talk as like a default response, right? Or maybe oh, check, compliment, or threat. What should we do? Maybe give it a... Well, I guess we should, we'll inspect it first, since it's the, the first time that we're facing it. Frog at attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Why is it, why is it difficult for you? Oh, <laughs> look at that death glare she's given it. It's like, stay away. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. You won. Great. Okay. Thank you, Mama. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Oh, I see. So we would have to memorize that path for what? Oh, spikes. Okay. Um, any advice, Mother Goat, Toriel? This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, she's literally going to handhold us through the puzzle. Well, that's really nice. I appreciate her attention to, uh, to detail and wanting to make sure that we completely understand how this world works. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Well, I, I'm sure I could have figured it out. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Okay, here we go. The other shoe drops. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh. What's at the other end of the room? Very long room, isn't it? Feels pretty dramatic. Okay. Uh, interesting. <laughs> what do we got? A, a pillar? A column? Is it Corinthian, Ionic, or Ionian, or Doric? Those are the those are the types of columns. Bet you didn't know that. Now you do. Um. She's giving us an ellipsis. Why, I'm not sure. Oh, because she was hiding back there. I see. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Oh, Toriel. You're too sweet for this world. Is this setting up like a tragic loss and separation of our dear mentor? If so, I don't think I can, my heart could handle that. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. 
I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Oh, that is not something I expected to be handed out underground, much less in a underground catacomb, you know. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Well, here's the thing. I could listen to my wonderful, loving, warm, and caring mentor who knows everything about this world and about which I know nothing and I'm just a small child. But on the other hand, I feel like kids know, think they know everything and, well, we should act the part, right? Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Okay, well, she's guilting us. Basically, the game is saying anything from here on out, you assume all risk. All right. Well, maybe we should make up with our frog uh, buddy or fight him again. Not sure. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they may not want to battle you anymore. Okay. If you fight them... Or talk to them a certain way. Okay, got it. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. I see. Yes, that, that was the fourth option, was it not, on the menu that we never got to select. But maybe, um... Uh, well, I have a feeling that we're going to be <laughs> Quitsome, Whimsome, Whimsome, Whimson, approached meekly. Um, we should probably inspect them first and then I guess show mercy. Attack 5, defense 0. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Oh, okay. Whimson avoids eye contact. Oh, well, okay, then mercy, I guess, right? Spare? That was the hint, right? Yeah, you won. Okay. Cool. Good to know that that is a way to do things. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Cool. All right. Another save locked in. And what we got here? It says take one. Take a piece of candy. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm a kid. How could I say no? Press C to open the menu. Monster candy. Let's learn about it. Heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Now that seems really specific. I'm trying to figure out what implications that could have. We'll have to remember that. We'll have to read all the item descriptions of everything that we pick up because I have a feeling that um, the game is going to be extremely specific in how things are described and um, we will probably profit the most if we um, pay attention to everything in excruciating detail. That's the way, right? Froggit hopped close. Okay. I think Froggit... Um, he just needs somebody to give him, uh, some positive feedback on his general demeanor. Froggit, you are a true friend, and I hope we can be pals in the future. He didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Okay. Oh! Yikes. He seems reluctant to fight with you. Well, I, I don't, I don't want to fight you. Um, can I give you candy or show mercy? Oh, just, just mercy. Okay. No XP and some gold. So what stops me from just sparing an enemy right off the bat? I'm not sure I quite understand. Maybe it's not an option. I guess I didn't try to spare right away. So, okay. I got, I did get a little damage, so I suppose I should just come over here and heal right away, huh? Right? Like, nothing's stopping me. There's no limitation on the number of times I, I save. Alright, what have we got here? Looks like a trap. Is that a net? Looks like a net. Alright, well that's cool. 
Oh, we got another fight. Okay, that... I guess we'll just have to sort of remember... Um, we'll just sort of have to remember how each enemy is best responded to, right? So I guess that's a little bit of a memory. Memory pro portion of the game. Ring, ring, hello. This is Toriel. For no reason in particular... Which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, cinnamon, absolutely. Not even a question. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Oh, is she's not- she's she baking us a cake or pudding or something? Oh, here we go. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? No, no, I would eat it. Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way... Oh. Patient, by the way. You are very welcome, Toriel. Thank you for being so sweet. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Let's see. Uh-oh. Okay. Three out of four rocks. All right. Love it. <laughs> I'm waiting for the catch. I suppose sometimes there is no catch, right? All right, so we've got breakable floors here, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering how much I should walk around in these leaves. Is that something where I should be fairly thorough in case there's like items or monsters or... I'm not sure what the, uh, what the strategy should be here. Please don't step on the leaves. Well, there we go. Look, I wasn't stepping on the leaves. I swear. Frog it hopped close. Um, let's give him a, a compliment again. I mean, should I just should I just have hit mercy there? I was gonna. Tr I'm gonna. Tr I'm gonna try to avoid this. Okay, so we'll spare, right? We'll walk over here. Should we walk on the leaves? It said please don't, but what if I did? Okay. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Back out. I suppose stepping on the leaves increases your chance of uh, an enemy encounter. Is that the idea? I'm not sure. Molds? Molds Mall, block the way. Attack 6, defense 0. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. That seems unkind to say. Sexy Wiggle. Ooh, okay. Whoops, alright. They are ruminating. Should I spare? So I guess I don't always have the chance to spare right away, do I? Or maybe I do. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should just try doing that sometime. Oh boy. Again? Alright, well, we'll eventually find the path, right? Surely? Not there. Good thing there's a whole pile of leaves here, huh? Oh, I see. So if I try to do Mercy right away... Doesn't seem to know why it's here. Hops to and fro. Okay. I guess compliment is the way, huh? So the way to do it is compliment and then just try to dodge. And then spare. Okay, so... A little bit of a procedural, uh... Alright, alright. A little bit of procedural memory that I'll have to hang on to. There we go. Oh, brother. 
This could get tedious real soon. Okay. I'm wondering, is there is there a oh pair of froggets hop towards me? Okay. Froggit A and Froggit B. Uh, we'll talk to the B one first. Alright, are there gonna be twice as many bullets or flies or what have you? Um So now what? Froggit B. I don't, want, I don't want to do that. Okay, so one of them's gone. Oh, whoops, I didn't see what that said. The battlefield is spared with something. Oh, I haven't complimented it yet, that's why. So it'll change, it'll change colors. Okay, I see. I, under I think I'm starting to understand. So in 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 this uh, particular situation, Froggit wants to be complimented, but there may be other enemies that need a, a different type of um, different type of interaction. And I noticed that it turned yellow, so maybe that means it's eligible for the the Mercy uh, Act. The mercy choice. All right, a little bit of trial and error, but I think we're starting to pick it up. No, I'm just going to continue to try to turn right. Good thing that I don't take any falling falling damage, huh? Check, imitate, flirt. Flirt, I guess? You wiggle your hips, mold small <laughs> wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Alright, I guess it likes that, huh? Waits pensively. Earned one gold. Now, is the amount of gold that I received, is that indicative of how good my response was? Or of how much damage I did or didn't take. Oh, brother. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm wondering how these random encounters are being triggered. Is it a function of how much I'm walking in the leaves? Or is it purely random based on the amount of time spent in the room? Or, uh... I'm intimidated by their raw strength. Just kidding. Okay, I was gonna say. Okay, uh, do the compliment again. Alright, I am stacking up a decent amount of gold. What? It, where exactly am I at right now? Does my menu say 15, 15 gold, right? Okay. Oh, really? Hopefully I get to a shopkeeper first so I can kind of get the idea of how good that is or isn't. Oh, okay, there's two of them. Well, Whitsome doesn't want to fight me. If I just show Mercy, one of them's going to go away. I'm going to have to eat one uh, froggy attack. And then I do a compliment. Oh, right into the fly. All right. Might be good to eat a piece of candy, uh, soon, right? Possibly. 
Do I go in between here? Oh! What does that mean? Also, what does the sign say? Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Yeah, I did. Alright, now I have to- Now it's gonna be sassy about it, so now I've gotta step in it. Alright, nothing happened. Alright, more rocks to push. We'll do a spare right away. Oh, really? Right into it. Battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. What does that mean? Why would there be a mustard seed? Huh. Alright, I'm doing okay so far. I would prefer to save my items as long as possible. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm, so you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. That's weird. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Uh, not quite what I had in mind. That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. Yep, perfect. Thank you, uh... Oh, are you kidding me? I swear. You know dynamite is a thing, don't you, Rock? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Just chill out, Rock. All right. I appreciate you. And a save point, right? Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. I say I can save, but I did not... Oh, I do, I do have full HP. I was like, I didn't say I, I healed, but I, I suppose I did. Can I check the hole? Don't take that the wrong way. Alright, hello, mouse. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Okay. So there's nothing I can do about it, huh? Alright. Uh, is that a, a g g g g ghost? A sleeping ghost? Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud <laughs> repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Z, 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 Z. Move it with force? No. Prefer not to. But if that's my only option, then... Potentially. Sure. I guess we're fighting, ghost. Here's come... Here comes... Napsta... Napsta Bluke? Naps? I got the naps part. Tab, look. Naps, tab, look. Okay. I don't know if that's a hint. Let's, uh... Inspect? Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Good to know. Oh, I'm real funny. Okay. He's staring into the distance. So... Cheer? I don't know. Positivity? Does that help? I give him a patient smile. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. It looks just a little bit better. So... Spare, I guess? Oh, when he says he's fine, that means he doesn't want to help me, apparently. Looks just a little bit better. Can I continue to spare, or it will only turn yellow? Oh, okay. Got it. Whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. He's continuing to look just a little bit better, but now what? Okay, let's think about this. Naps. Napsta? <laughs> I'm sure there's a... There must be a hint in the name, right? Maybe I continue to... Continue to cheer it? I told him a little joke. But he doesn't have a sense of humor, right? 
that's the wrong the wrong thing to do. Cheering seems to have improved his mood again. Uh, I feel like I might need to eat something. There we go. Alright, he didn't react as badly to that. His, his mood c seems to continue to improve, but yet the uh, end state does not seem to have changed. Interestingly enough. Blurt? I don't know. I just weigh you down. Okay. Can I continue to spare? No, I think I'm... I must be missing something here. Okay, well, I guess we'll continue to cheer until... Oh, he wants to show me something. Let me try... I call it... <laughs> Tapper Blook. Do you like it? I actually do really like it. I wouldn't mind having a hat. He eagerly awaits my response. Um... Yeah, I'll cheer for him. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. That's me. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Golly. Uh, what a fight. Okay, so... What's the takeaway from that little encounter? The takeaway is... There's gonna be some... Like a... Like a hidden... Emotions bar, I suppose. Well, it may not be emotions. It might just totally depend upon the opponent, right? So his mood was continuing to his or her or their or whatever his mood was continuing to improve. And so that was really the way that I needed to um, the uh, the avenue I needed to pursue to get past them. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay. Leave seven gold in the web. Um, so what, what are these stats telling me? The stats are telling me I have 19 gold, right? Space zero of eight. I don't know space of... Space for what? Leave 18 gold in the web. What's this again? All proceeds go to real spy. Okay, well... Uh, I don't know what this gold is going to be used for, so I'll just do... I'll do seven for now. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh! Well, that's awfully nice, I think. Let's see what that does. A spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Spider cider. Okay. Got it. Okay, so you can come here and trade gold for uh, healing items. Seems to be the long and short of it. I think we'll hang on to the rest of our gold for now until we figure out exactly what it could be used for. Did you miss it? Spider bake sail down and to the right. No, I didn't miss it. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. That's concerning. There's a lot of frogs in this area. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's good to know. That's right. Pressing X. Oh, not you too. I'm not skipping it. I'm just doing it so I can read it quicker. I've heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? Or four friends. I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you could spare it. I see. I, I, w I was starting to figure that out, but it's good to see it spelled out explicitly. What do you think of that? Uh, yes, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll even have to do it 
or maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. That's confusing. How will I know that that's the case? Migosp crawled up close. All right, well, so Mold Small we know about. Migosp we know nothing about. So Yellow, their name is Yellow, right? So um, that means we can go back out of here. We can go ahead and do Spare. One of them will peace out right away. Yeah. Nothing like a little alone time, he says. He doesn't have a care in the world, all right? His name is Yellow, right? So... Cool. All right. Sometimes these frogs seem to know what they're talking about. Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting you to have com- oh, I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You could pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Good. Inventory management is important, Toriel. That I can agree with. There is just one switch. Good to know. There's a lot of potential holes for us to drop. All right. Oh, hello. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Let's inspect it. Attack 6, defense 6, serving size 1, monster, not monitored by the USDA. So, eat it, I guess. Fresh morning taste. Uh-oh. Smells like steamed carrots and peas. Well, uh... If I devour it, does that is that considered killing it or, or no? Dinner? Would you like to come to dinner? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Oh, is the green one good or bad? He's here for your health. Oh, let's try it. Let's try that again. I know that I know this is a risk. Eat your greens. Oh, I missed it. All right, let's let's try one more time. And if I don't get it, we'll just move on from there. All right, hey, all right, worked, confirmed. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, he's yellow now. So, there we go. Nice, all he wanted to do was take care of us. I, I appreciate that. So I suppose we should go down here and check this out. Oh, cool. All right, nothing lying about that I see. We'll do the next one over, or Luke's drew near. Is it bigger Luke's? Check, pick on or don't pick on? Don't pick on him. <laughs> Family name, Eyewalker. Hey, I knew it! Look, so, okay, so what I was saying before, I said Luke's and Bigger Luke's, that, that's just a weird, fake, fun, kind of meme Star Wars theory that he, uh, that, that in some of the movies, uh, Luke's, Luke is, uh, is, is portrayed, is replaced by a, by a Bigger Luke. He's actually like 15 feet, or 100 feet tall in the Star Wars universe. It's complicated to explain. I'm doing it very poorly. Just look it up. Anyway, Luke's Eyewalker. Very good. Please don't pick on me. I wouldn't dare Luke Skywalker. He gnashes his teeth. I shan't, I shan't be picking on him. Finally, someone gets it. He is gazing at me. Okay, well, in that case, five gold. Love it. And we got the switch. Now, I'm looking at the other rooms. There's, what is that, a pineapple down there? 
We probably want to go into the other rooms just because we can, right? Just to see if there's good stuff in there that we might want. Let's see, has that, that that's opened the door, but I say we go in here and uh, pick up the stuff. What have we got here? Oh, it's a Vegetoid. Okay, well, cool. I'm ready. Oh, I almost got it. Let's try it again. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mysterious smile. Alright, well that's not all bad. You know, we'll explore all of them just for the, uh... Just for the completionist in me. Alright, he's having a great time looking at him down there. Cool. Alright, encounter or item? You found a faded ribbon. We should probably figure out what that does as well. Faded ribbon. Armor... Armor DF3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Well, I am very cute. It's true. So how do I switch that out? It says I have armor stick... Or no, weapon stick, armor, bandage, gold, 29. What a cell. Oh, my cell phone. Say hello about yourself. Call her mom. Flirt. Oh, that's very cute. We should say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hehe. <laughs> I think she liked it, though. That is very cute. Okay. Is that, uh... Oh, we've got quite a few options about yourself. Sure. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. That can't possibly be true. You're very special. So, I guess we'll use the ribbon, right? You equipped the ribbon. So now, when we go to stats... Uh, my armor is... Faded Ribbon. Perfect. I suppose the stick is not going to be especially important if we're not going to be fighting anybody, right? Okay. Very cool. Um, we'll check the last two rooms. There's another g -g 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 ghost I guess we'll talk to him again. I fell down a hole now. I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh, well. Well, that's good, I guess. And then there's a Vegetoid in there. I don't feel a huge need to confront them, so I shan't. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Our door is not an exit. It marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. Spare. And. Look, I'll take more of that, please. Just. <laughs> Give me, give me an easy, uh, give me an easy out. It's a rotation, so this exit here is just a rotation in perspective, or what? Luke's draw near. Don't pick on him. Whoops. Should probably eat that donut soon, huh? Smells like eye drops. Let's check what these little, uh, things here are. It's a switch. Press it. Nothing happened. I'm, I'm just going to press all the switches.
Okay. Well then. Seems like there's a lot of, uh... A lot of busy work in fighting these guys. Look, I... I definitely appreciate the soundtrack and such, but there's... It just there seems like there is a lot to do. That... is very repetitive. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay, I can read this. A pair of Vegetoids came out. Great. Alright. Dinner. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. I got the banana, though. Uh, hang on. So I guess we should... Spare one to get rid of one. Right. I'll have to take another attack here. And then this guy will have to do dinner. Okay. Oh, I almost got it. Damn. Alright. We should probably eat the donut, huh? Don't worry, spider didn't. Spider don't, spider didn't. Love it. Recovered 12 HP. All right, we're gonna we're gonna eat another attack. Not literally, I hope. And we'll see if we can do a better job doing this. I wonder if there's a, if there's another way to uh, overcome him. I should I should probably experiment a little bit more, but this is fine for now. It's helping me kind of get used to the uh, procedure, I suppose. Oh, I see what it means. It's a change in perspective, which means the blue switch is back here. Yep. There we go. Understood. All right, and what do we got here? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay, so where is the red switch? Okay. Um, can I do, so doing nothing to the, doing nothing to the, uh, bug guy, that will cause him to leave next turn, right? So if I just go ahead and do dinner, then that's good. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Maybe I need to... Alright, this... Man, I wish there were... I wish there were at least two green, uh... Vegetables. Damn. Okay. Hang in there, y'all. Hang in there. We got this. And if not, well... Oh, you're kidding me. That was off by a pixel. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go. Love it. Finally. Alright, spare. Yeah, so he likes it when you spare right away. So I probably should have led with that, huh? Well, lesson learned. Alright, press the red switch is what it says. So the red switch is down there in that column. Yeah, so... That should be fine, right? Yeah, okay. Good, I was wondering what the catch was. You can read this. Press the green switch. Well, back here, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna learn from our mistakes. We're gonna spare, right? Oh no, that uh, that didn't cause him. Maybe maybe he 
Maybe the deal with the bug guy is that he will only do nothing if he's the only one left. Maybe that's the idea. All right. Play on hard mode. Bugs and vegetables. Oh. Yikes. All right, come on. Bugs and vegetables living together. Mass hysteria. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. I'm just always a tiny bit short. It looks like you, you kind of have to lead it a bit. Like, even if the pixels technically overlap, it won't always give you credit for it. If you're there a little bit too late. All right, spare. There we go. Love it, y'all. Okay. We're fine, everybody. We're fine. Don't even stress. I wasn't worried. Were you worried? I would like a save point, though. <laughs> I'll admit. I'll admit it. Save point would be nice. Which way should we go? I guess we'll just take uh, we'll take this in front of us first, huh? Oh, that's a ominous tree. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Thank you, Mama. I'm hurt. I need your... <laughs> I need your cinnamon pudding or whatever it is you're making for me. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Save. Save, save, save. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. Actually sounds really delicious right now, not gonna lie. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh, well, thank you. Here, I have another surprise for you. Even though I suspect snail pie would be high in protein. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 20-whatever. 20 20 21 this is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, look at her. She's so she's so caring. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Thanks, Mama Goat. Oh, look at it. I love it. I love it already. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll take a break here. This seems like a very wholesome and very appropriate place to take our first break. I hope you've been enjoying uh, what you've seen so far. It's taken a little bit of getting used to, but I am really enjoying the flow of this, and uh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, if you wouldn't mind liking the video if you enjoyed it, drop whatever comments you like. Obviously, please, please avoid spoilers, but gentle course corrections or pieces of advice never go amiss. And uh, if you want to see how this particular nobody's version of Undertale turns out, then please subscribe and keep it right here for the future. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.